Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to argue that it's been too damn long, and I got a feeling that the world might agree. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Universe Mode. My name is Plus, and we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Becky Lynch goes one-on-one -on -one with Bailey in an ongoing war that Damage Control has been in with Becky Lynch. Also, it is going to be Starcade rematch LWO versus The Shield to start us off here tonight. But in our main event, it's going to be our crossover. It's going to be Tony Storm, Rhea Ripley, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's going to be a dang. Damn good matchup, but to get to you with the opener that we just mentioned, and they seem to be a little more, uh, what they say in the biz is over as ever, and ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the hounds, you are looking at the four men who have taken universe mode by storm a couple of weeks ago with the man you see right there, Ryan Danielson, him being the one to uh, get the victory for the Shield at War Games. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that has somewhat prepared the relationship with John Moxley and Brian Danielson as we've seen over on Raw. As Moxley said that everything is forgiven. Everything's good between them. Unless Brian has any animosity that you know he would like to get off his chest. When his book, everything is perfectly fine. So I guess you can argue that the Shield are truly at 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very, very interesting. But what's going to be interesting about this one, ladies and gentlemen, is the LWO have been a little bit on a uh, up and down scale as of late with Rey Mysterio winning his matchup last week against Samoa Joe. Santos Escobar losing his matchup this past Monday against Santos Escobar. Now we see Cruz del Toro, Joaquin Wild, the legado del fantasma of the LWO. They are stepping up here tonight to take on the Shields and what a matchup it is going to be as these two teams faced each other a month ago back at the Starcade Tag Team Tournament. And it was the Shield to get the shocking upset against the LWO. The big question that everybody has on their mind, including me, is will the LWO get the job done tonight? As Rey Mysterio has told the WWE Universe, he's told everybody that it's time for the LWO's rise here. And that all started with Rey. It didn't follow with Santos, but the big question is, can the LWO do it for, you know, can they do it for them here tonight? Or can... A real legato fall to the Shield. The Shield have been on an uphill streak as of late, winning their matches nonstop. It has been nothing but uprise for the Shield. The big question is, can Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wild get the job done? This matchup is a rematch that the many, many fans all over the world have been looking forward to. And tonight is the night that we get to see what goes down, how it goes down, and what the result is going to be. As the tag team division has been taking a very, very big step here in Universe Mode over the last couple of months. And now we're finally seeing here tonight the rematch that everybody's been looking forward to. Moxley starting off for Cruz del Toro. Big strike there by John Moxley. Moxley definitely hitting the gym over the last couple of weeks. Seems to be bigger than a lot of the guys here in the ring is... Moxley's more the powerhouse. I'd say him and Claudia are more the powerhouses in the shield. And look at this, Brian Dangus and Quick Chops. And look at Cruz Del Toro moving out of the way. Del Toro now off the ropes. Beautifully done by Cruz Del Toro. That's what you want to see by the LWO with Del Toro now. Cruz Del Toro. Big drop kick to Brian Danielson. When you're stepping into the ring with Brian Danielson, you're definitely signing yourself up to a fight. But the big question is, can Cruz Del Toro withstand that fight? Here tonight as the American Dragon takes him down. Beautiful snap gear suplex. No. Absolutely pitch perfect snap gear suplex. Brian Danielson turning his attention to Joaquin Wild. That's Cruz Del Toro. Del Toro taking advantage of the distraction right there. And look at this Del Toro over the ropes. Making it look pretty for damn sure. What a start to mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that Brian Danielson taking down Cruz Del Toro. Del Toro in absolute trouble. Danielson trying, trying his damn hardest to do something, but I don't think there's much you could do once the American Dragon's locked in. And when he's locked in, he's locked in. And now look at this. Danielson gets him up. Danielson now looking to get him into the ring, and he does beautiful work there by Brian Danielson. Danielson looking to hit him with a hit Joaquin Wild with a cross four on there, but couldn't get it. And now, wait a minute. Look at over there. Moxley being taken advantage of by Cruz Del Toro, and the knee getting taken out. The knee getting taken out. And look at this. Danielson now slapping away Brian Danielson. We know damn well when he hits he hits hard and oh my goodness the wwe universe is ecstatic then you can't blame him look at this look at this wait a minute danielson danielson looking to lock in that knee and he gets to the knee bar the knee bar is locked in danielson looking to put it away early tonight danielson looking to knock it out no i don't know if it wasn't for joaquin wild there i don't know who would have walked away with the victory but joaquin tried to roll out of the way and danielson says no and Moxley 
The nod of approval by Moxley to LaBellock. It's in. Nowhere for Del Toro to go. Once again, Joaquin Wild being that definitive factor for the LWO. And wait a minute as Joaquin goes to the outside. Beautiful work there by Cruz Del Toro. Del Toro springing him over with a beautiful... Beautiful maneuver there, now piking him off of the ropes, but no, it looks like Danielson went down to a need to avoid it and hit a little bit of his own Shining Wizard. And this crowd is hyped up for Brian Danielson, ladies and gentlemen, can you blame him? Can you truly blame him? When you're looking at a master in his craft, do you really want to get in the way of that? Do you really want to end that process? And oh man, look like the Shield won a little bit of tag team action there, but Cruz Del Toro, Del Toro was not trying to go for that, and Danielson once again... Relying heavily on those lariats, and it's definitely been helpful in the matchup. And now Danielson looking to get the leg lock in. Second time he's going to get the leg lock in is the no. Joaquin Wild does what Joaquin Wild does best. And that is interfere. That is do what he has to do to make sure. To make sure that the Shields walk away with the victory. And no. Once again, Joaquin Wild being that definitive factor as those kicks there by Brian Danielson are getting put to effect. And I want to let you guys know, Brian Danielson, John Moxley, two men that have swapped out in this matchup. Cruz Del Toro has been the legal man since the beginning. Nowhere he could go, nothing he could do. Danielson setting him up, top rope drop kick. Beautiful flying goat there by Danielson. And Danielson back in black and hitting hard as ever. I don't know if we can get a camera over there, but John Moxley working on Joaquin Wild. And wait a minute, no, Wild looking to turn this around here. Suplex there to Moxley. Danielson not allowing that. Claudio and Rollins telling Danielson to get his goddamn head in the game, and Danielson scaring off Joaquin Wild. Danielson scaring off Wild referee almost on the count of seven as Brian Danielson and Cruz Del Toro are fighting on the outside. You see John Moxley hurt here. Nothing but chaos, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing but absolute chaos, but you see. Claudio Castanoli made sure he stood by John Moxley until he can get up to his feet, making sure that his tag team partner was good as Brian Danielson is doing the work to Cruz Del Toro. This is where the Shield carry themselves in numbers. This is where the Shield. This is where the Shield do what the Shield does best, and that is be a hound of wolves. And whoa! Big kick there by Cruz! One, two, and no! Ladies and gentlemen, I can now say it's official Hard Rock Stadium. We're rolling loud goes live. It's going to be Bronson Reed going one-on-one -on -one with John Moxley as Moxley has answered the challenge. And William Regal has made it official with a monster himself, Bronson Reed. Be able to top with John Moxley with John Moxley just push Bronson Reed to that limit of no return. Find out December 11th right here on Wrestle Plus for the Raw one-year anniversary show. It's going to be damn good. See you guys then. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, Danielson into the cover, and oh, man, kick out slash something there over the commercial break. We finally got that tag in by Joaquin Wild, but ladies and gentlemen, it's now official Moxley versus Bronson Reed, December 11th. Wait a minute, Danielson, a psycho knee! Out of nowhere! He doesn't want to put it away like that! Flying! Leg drop! Oh, my God! What does Danielson have left for Joaquin? We just got back from commercial break and Danielson. Danielson making sure he hits hard. And wait a minute, now we're seeing John Moxley. Beautiful back body drop by the two men. Double back body drop. Moxley showing off to the crowd. And that might have cost him as Cruz Del Toro is not the legal man in the ring. And oh man, both men going for something there. Neither man getting it. And now wait a minute, Del Toro looking to get a suplex in on Moxley. Moxley saying no. Mox has too much wrestling background, too much knowledge in his head, knowing what to do and how to do it, especially in these tag team maneuvering situations. And he's making sure he stays on top. Moxley now throwing him to the outside, but Del Toro hangs on to the toss. Wait a minute, Del Toro hangs on, but it might not be good for a goal. Oh my God! The power driver knocked him off the ring. He's dead. He's dead. Cruz Del Toro! And Moxley applying that pressure to the neck that he just hit. He just hit that power driver with. Does this man have no, no bounds? As Claudio Castanoli standing over him with no care in the world. 
And wait a minute now, Moxley turning his attention here. And oh man, no, Cruz. Cruz says no, Cruz not allowing John Moxley to do anything else to attack team partner. Anything that he just did to him, he's not allowing it. He's not allowing it. Moxley now, up and over. You want to talk about fight? You want to talk about passion? Heart? The LWO wears it on their sleeve. Joaquin in. I mean, man, you want to talk about a fight? You want to talk about the underdogs? The LWO might have met the Wolves. And they're right in the middle of the den because there's nowhere for them to go. Moxley lining them up. The only man that's been on the receiving end of this is Roman Reigns. No, wait, what? Oh, my God. Joaquin Wild moved out of the way. Tagged in Cruz Del Toro. Is this the glimmer of light that we need to see? No. Moxley pulls. He pulls on the neck. The broken, what could be screwed up neck of Cruz Del Toro, not only withstanding the power driver, but getting the neck wrench, and now this, one, two, and no. Oh. I mean, if you want to talk about fight, ladies and gentlemen, you want to talk about staying in it, just to stay in it at this point, I want to look at the LWO, they're kicking out merely off of instinct at this point, because what John Moxley and Brian Danielson are doing to these two men are looked at as nothing more than a slaughter. I mean, look at this, the neck being pulled, Danielson in the ring securing, nothing happens. And wait a minute, Joaquin Wild nowhere to be found, is this the tap out? No? What? What? Cruz fights! Cruz fights! Beautiful Hurricane Rana by the Cruz Del Toro! Del Toro with a kick! You wanna talk about fight forever? These two teams have been ran to a T on their sleeves and it's not going nowhere! Ladies and gentlemen! This is that LWO pride, that LWO fight, that LWO feel that we have been longing and longing to see! And look at this now, Del Toro! Del Toro has Moxley up and down! Into the cover! But Danielson! Danielson saves the day somehow, some way. Brian Danielson found a way. And now as Moxley gets up to his feet, Cruz Del Toro showing off to the pride of the LWO. He's gonna get choked out for a shovel. He's getting choked out. The life of him, nowhere to go. And that hand was looking like it was going up to tap out. If, if, listen, that man right there, Joaquin Wild didn't get there right in the nick of time. It was looking like, oh, she wrote, and as you see, like a lion in the den, Moxley looking for his opponent, the architect getting up to his feet. And now look at this. Look at this. This is just a beat down at this point. Brian Danielson, legal man in the ring. Cruz Del Toro intimidated for his life, and you can't blame him. As Danielson, Bait and Del Toro, and both men getting back into the ring finally brings him into the corner. Danielson looking like he wants he wants to end the slaughter the same way it started, and that's with the shield playing offense. Look at this. Danielson kicking his face right into the ring. I mean, just stomping, pressing any means necessary he doesn't give a damn up he goes Danielson brings him on his neck yo Del Toro's neck I don't know how Cruz Del Toro is withstanding the pressure withstanding oh my god he couldn't even pull it Joaquin Wild didn't even have a second to think uh, all that torture on the neck it all started with John Moxley hitting what he hit on Cruz. I mean, let's be honest. It all started with Cruz Del Toro not getting a tag in on Joaquin Wild and being in the matchup as long as he was with the shield isolating Cruz Del Toro and cutting off his supply to Joaquin Wild. Very smart tag team work right there. Very, very smart. And you see the shield are absolutely stronger than ever because going into this, we didn't even know if Moxley and Bryan were going to be okay. But it seems like going into this, they are full and, and fledged and ready to bring the war to the Monday night and Friday night roster because Raw and Mayhem has just kicked up because not only is the shield at 100% when it comes down to the relationship aspect, but every single member is at 100%. This right here is what you want to see. These are the hounds and they are back and they are better than ever to start us off in this new era of universe mode. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as we mentioned earlier tonight, the trial of Solo Sarko, it all starts this Monday on Raw. It's going to be damn good as Roman Reigns has a lot to say. And after Survivor Series, the bloodline, they are in the down, they are in the negative, and it's all because of this man. The big question is, will Solo be able to atone for his sins, or does the tribal chief have something big in store for the enforcer of the bloodline? The war between Damage Control and Becky Lynch has become at an all-time high and it finally goes down here tonight. Bailey goes one-on-one -on -one with Becky Lynch. Will Lynch get a little bit of a retribution on Damage Control after weeks and weeks of hellacious attacks? Find out, ladies and gentlemen, not later tonight. No, 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 it is coming right up next. I'm going to give the people exactly what they want. You want me one-on-one, -on -one, Juice? You got me. AJ Styles versus Rock Hard Juice Robinson this Monday on Raw. But let me tell you something, Juice. You made a mistake. Your buddy Jay White made a mistake. Now, I met Jay White back when he was a younger fellow. Back when he was still up and coming. Back when the switchblade was nothing but a pocket knife. And now... Now he looks to step up as the crossover is taking place. Now he looks to step up and take what's mine. My rifle place is the phenomenal one. You don't want a war between clubs because my club will win. My club will persevere because that's what we do. We are the OC and the OC stands for one thing and one thing only and that is the original. The three men you see with me are the three of one of the most original elite members of the Bullet Club. And I'm not talking about gold. I'm talking about straight up too sweet. And I'm talking about stomping people's head right into the mat the old way we used to do things. You want to bring us back, then let's bring it back. But I promise you one thing and one thing only. You are making a grave mistake. I talked to Adam Pierce. And I got our matchup for this Monday to not only be a regular one-on-one -on -one matchup, but for it to be AJ Styles versus Rock Car Juice Robinson with nobody at ringside. I'm not about to wait for weeks and weeks on. I know how the numbers game's played. I've played it before myself in the past. You want to take me on? You want to challenge me? And you're going to do it without the gun's help. But I promise you one thing and one thing only. When I beat you after a phenomenal forearm, when I pin you right into the mat, one, two, three, I'm going to send your ass packing right back to AEW, and I'm going to show everybody why the WWE is the place to be. This isn't a crossover. This is a war. Well, ladies and gentlemen, war, it seems like it will be Juice Robinson going one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, right in Providence, Rhode Island. It's going to be a damn good matchup, and it only goes down right here on Wrestle Plus. It's going to be a good episode, and it is coming your way live right here on the next episode of Universe Mode. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, as we make it back out here, it is going to be... Bailey going one on one with Becky Lynch. And as we learned over the commercial break, it is going to be Rock Hard. Juice Robinson going one on one with AJ Styles this coming Monday on Raw. One hell of a matchup that is set to be, as it seems like, uh, you know, when it comes down to this whole AEW WWE side of things, it seems like the Bullet Club Gold might be sticking their hand in the hat of what could be an ongoing war for. The next two months here in Universe Mode as the partnership is signed, sealed, and delivered. And now, now Tony Khan and William Regal are sitting back as the chaos is unfolding as each roster is available to each other. If Bailey wants a matchup on an episode of Dynamite, all she has to do is ask. I mean, hey, these guys are open for any and absolutely everything. Ladies and gentlemen, comment down below the matches that you want to see coming in a seven-week crossover. You might be able to see it, you never know, but coming up this coming Monday, AJ Styles versus Juice Robinson, one hell of a matchup that is going to be, but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we see an ongoing war that's been continuing over the last couple of months as Bailey and, uh, you know, her damage control partners have been kind of taking a, uh, a, a bit of an attack to the women's division as of late as the women's division has been kind of stuck in a loop with not being able to get opportunities not being able to really grasp and go for challenges because damage control has kind of been in that boat and it was Becky Lynch and Charlotte to kind of uh, you know take up that mantle and try to take that award to them but right when Charlotte introduced Becky Charlotte also went after the women's championship she lost the Survivor Series and we haven't seen her since that you know the pay-per-view two episodes ago so it's gonna be very very interesting going in 
to these next couple of weeks, seeing exactly where Becky Lynch is, seeing where her mindset is. We've seen her this past Monday on Raw go one on one with the women's champion Rhea Ripley. One hell of a matchup that was. And again, even though it was one hell of a matchup, it was Rhea Ripley to walk away with the victory. Or arguably, it was Becky Lynch to walk away with the victory. Technically, Becky Lynch did defeat Rhea Ripley via DQ, but it was Rhea Ripley that not only mentally, but physically walked away with the victory as Becky Lynch got a chair put right into her back and it wasn't for any specific reason but the fact that Lynch was kicking out of everything that Rhea Ripley had for her everything that Rhea kept trying to throw at her Lynch just kept kicking out of it and Rhea got to the point where she was tired of it she was over it and now and she would just want to put her away and tonight we're gonna see Bailey go one-on-one -on -one with Becky Lynch and as some may argue that Becky Lynch is on the top of her game as of late here in universe mode winning matches and kind of stepping up and not really backing down. I mean, Becky Lynch has been one of the more consistent parts of Universe Mode as of the last couple of months. And wait a minute, Becky now. Oh, big slap to the chest there by Becky Lynch. Bailey in a bit of trouble here. Bailey now. Go, oh, big kick there by Bailey. I want to take nothing away from Bailey as Bailey goes to the outside. Very strong kick there by Becky Lynch. And Lynch now, wait a minute, top rope. What does she have in store here for the role model? Gets dropped on her head. Beautiful missile drop kick there by Becky Lynch as the last kicker is bringing the kicking here tonight on Mayhem. Referee on the count of two. Lynch getting back into the ring really quick with the quickness. And wait a minute now, Bailey. Oh, I want to take nothing away from Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. Bailey has done it all here in Universe Mo, being the first ever woman to challenge for the women's championship in singles capacity when the championship was first created. Taking on Shotzi for the women's championship. Also, Bailey being in our first ever elimination chamber, and then her and Shotzi being the final two in the elimination chamber. And one hell of a matchup that was in season one, our first ever elimination chamber matchup. And Bailey could be able to say that she was in that final two slot. Went one on one with Shotzi in that final two, end up losing and. You know, tried to go back after it, you know, a couple of months later when Rhea Ripley was holding the championship. Back at the fully loaded pay-per-view and, you know, it, it wasn't really looking good for Bailey. Bailey couldn't get the job done, but Bailey looking to climb herself back to the mountain. But ladies and gentlemen, as these two women are fighting in this back and forth war here on Mayhem, we're going to have to go right on commercial break, but we'll be right back right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, I can now say it's official Hard Rock Stadium. We're rolling loud goes live. It's going to be Bronson Reed going one-on-one -on -one with John Moxley as Moxley has answered the challenge. And William Regal has made it official with the monster himself, Bronson Reed. Be able to top with John Moxley with John Moxley just push Bronson Reed to that limit of no return. Find out December 11th right here on Wrestle Plus for the Raw one-year anniversary show. It's going to be damn good. See you guys then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and wait a minute now bailey goes for the cover is this one gonna be it here bailey looking to get the quick win off of the commercial break but no becky lynch not allowing that like i said before and i'll say it again becky lynch has been not only one of the most consistent parts but she's been a fighting champ oh wait a minute oh lynch with a beautiful suplex spiking bailey out of nowhere i was gonna say fighting champion but she has just been a fighting uh, contender here in universe mode moving herself up the ring since becky lynch is stalking her prey what does she have in mind for Bailey now? Bailey might get dropped with a manhandle slam! Into the cover, but no Dakota Kai! Dakota Kai being a definitive factor. We talk about them all the time. When it comes to Judgment Day, when it comes to damage control, those those numbers games help out 110%. We just seen it earlier tonight with the shield. Oh, wait a minute now, wait a minute, right, Bailey! Rose Plant! We've seen this so many times. Rose playing off with a distraction. So many wins being done like this, but no. So many wins being done like that, but not like that tonight. Bailey has the crowd to their feet. Sonic boom by Bailey, but Bailey gets hit with a man. Handle Sam. One, two. She does it. Becky Lynch. Continuing to move up the ranks. And I don't know if she did it tonight. But some might be able to argue that after beating the leader of damage control. Did Bailey and Becky Lynch. Did the war just end. Did Becky Lynch just single handedly end the war. Between the women's division and damage control. Will this stifle the momentum of damage control? It definitely will. But I can say all it's going to. Is the woman right there?
Well, ladies and gentlemen, as the crossovers continue, here we go. Providence, Rhode Island is looking like a damn good show as AEW's very own Wheeler Yuta will be stepping foot in the square circle right here on Wrestle Plus as he goes one on one with JD McDonough. This is going to be a very interesting expedition match as JD has the World Heavyweight Champion in his corner. But, ladies and gentlemen, December 11th, it has been confirmed for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. It is going to be the Usos taking on FTR. It's going to be a damn good one and it only goes down rock hard stadium anniversary show but ladies and gentlemen we are going to the place where rolling loud goes live and what a crowd it is going to be as tag team action has taken a big step here in universe mode and it's gonna be a damn good matchup see you guys then listen santos after tonight things are changing all right you guys want to go back to this bad boy attitude so bad well then we're gonna give it a try we're gonna bring the LWO down to how Legato used to do things all those months ago because it's time for things to take a change after my win against Samoa Joe it made me realize something Santos it made me realize that the LWO was too strong to be taking losses to the shield like earlier tonight we belong in the main event we belong in the future and we have a prime spot right here on Mayhem to make things happen so you know what Santos let's go grab the boys and let's make things happen Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week, Samoa Joe will be returning, and we will be hearing from him live right here on Mayhem. It's going to be a damn good episode coming your way next week as we are getting to you guys with a seven-week crossover event. But it seems like Samoa Joe has some words on his mind. What will he have to say after his big upset loss against Rey Mysterio two weeks ago on Mayhem? Find out next week. And oh, ho, ladies and gentlemen, you thought we were done. No, no, no. It's time for that Raw preview. J.D. McDonough versus Wheeler Yuta. It is coming your way as advertised and announced earlier tonight. But this one's going down too. It is going to be the Judgment Day versus Alpha Academy as they have been having a war with words. The big question is, will they be able to finally put their differences to bed as Alpha Academy is going to be going against Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio on the Judgment Day. And ladies and gentlemen, that's not all. It's going to be the American Night. Man. With a live microphone and ready to go as this crossover event is going to be taken by Storm and Rhodes says he has news of his own. It's going to be damn good. And it seems like Monday nights just got rock hard as Juice Robinson will be making his debut by taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles. But ladies and gentlemen, in your main event, it's not a matchup, it's a segment of segments, Tribal Court 2. But the victim is Solo Sokoa. Sokoa crossed the bloodline two weeks ago in their War Games matchup. What will the Tribal Chief have in store for him? Find out coming up next episode right here in Universe Mode. You can only catch it right here on WrestleBlock. Listen up boys, I just went back and talked to Ray and we figured out what's really going on. We figured out what's stopping the LWO from doing what the LWO needs to do and that's being relentless. Yeah boys, that's right, that's going back to that legato style that we love all so much. Ray finally put the hand up and he said he's ready for us to bring it all down. He's ready for us to bring LWO style down right here to the green brand. He's ready for us to take over. So you know what that means? That means that loss tonight, that's getting scratched out. That means next week we fix that loss from tonight. Next week we do and we right those wrongs. And next week we show the world that Legado del Fantasma is back and better than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, as we make it back out here in the Mayhem Arena, I can officially say that it's time for your main event. It's going to be Tony Storm versus the Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. This one is going to be a damn good one. Hard hitting, charismatic, and don't forget timeless. This one is gonna be damn damn good as wwe and aew are giving you guys a seven week crossover event 
and it the crossover matches are continuing and continuing only one tonight but more are to come as we now know from over the commercial break it is going to be JD McDonough taking on Wheeler Yuta. It's going to be Rock Car, Drew Robinson versus AJ Styles. The crossover match are continuing, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode of Universe Mode on Raw as we are building into our pay per view coming up in six weeks' time. The Clash of the Champions pay per view, where it will be AEW and WWE superstars fighting, going at it. It's going to be damn good. It's going to be damn interesting seeing how that one goes down. But, ladies and gentlemen, the woman who has brought the uh, WWE Women's Division in a complete shock and a complete frenzy. I would say in complete hiding. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't call her a nightmare for no reason. She is the creator of brutality. This is our Women's World Champion. And her name is Rhea Ripley. And she is accompanied by one of the dirtiest players in the game. And his name is Dominic Mysterio. Mysterio... Having some wins and losses here and there in Universe Mode. But the one thing he's known for in Universe Mode is not only being the spokesperson, but being behind Rhea Ripley at all costs. And we talk about the numbers advantages all throughout tonight. Dominic Mysterio is a sure thing when it comes to, to this. To, to the numbers advantages. When it comes to the numbers advantages... They don't play no games, and it's going to be real interesting seeing how this one goes down here tonight. So many questions, not enough answers. But the one thing I can tell you guys is that this matchup is going down one way or the other. And it's going down right here, right now. It's going to be damn, damn good. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently. We are almost at 2.1K subscribers here on the YouTube channel as we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. The journey has been long, it's been hard, but ladies and gentlemen, here we go as the crossover continues, and let's do this. Both women staring each other down, I mean, these are two women who don't know each other all too well. First time ever, they're going to be meeting in the ring, and oh man, Tony Storm with a beautiful, devastating DDT there already to the Women's World Champion, into the cover, is this one going to be in here? No. Rhea Ripley not going to go down easy, not going to go down without a fight, that's for sure, that's for certain. Now wait a minute now, look at this, Tony Storm might be might be uh, showing off a bit to Rhea Ripley, and Ripley, Ripley not allowing Storm to do anything she wants to do, big bunch there by Rhea Ripley, big super kick there, into the leg drop combination, Rhea now looking to go for a quick cover, is she going to get the job done here tonight, quick, oh no, wait, what? Kick out at one by Tony Storm after the super kick leg drop combination that Sometimes puts women out for good. And oh man, Rhea takes, takes her down again. This time a little harder than usual. Wait a minute. Oh, Tony Storm. She's known for being so many things. Badass. Timeless. She wears a backwards hat. And oh my god, rocks a skateboard. But tonight she's going to have to go against one of the most hard-hitting women in the world. And wait a minute, Rhea now. No. Oh, psyched us out with the lariat finisher. Took her out with a calf kick. And wait a minute now. Rhea tosses Storm. Oh my goodness. Storm is surviving right now, ladies and gentlemen. Storm is absolutely surviving. And wait a minute now. Oh, and oh. Rhea grabbing her up, using the ropes to her advantage. Now going to the top rope. Elbow dropping Rhea. Rhea's might be in trouble. Storm moved out of the way. Storm now with a big oh. Big uppercut there by Tony Storm. Beautiful work there by Storm. Storm now. Storm now looking for something big here. And oh, stomps on the. Oh, my God. Consistently stomping on the hand there. Absolutely devastating work there by Tony Storm. And once again, a kick to the to the leg there. And this is what you're going to want to see right here. This is what you're going to want to pay attention to. The fact that Rhea Ripley is not playing offense right now. And exactly how much defense she's going to play when it comes to Tony Storm. Being in the ring with somebody like Tony Storm for the first time ever. Straight headbutt there by Storm. Storm. Storm making it lights out for Rhea Ripley. And looks the punch her. What does she have in mind for the Women's World Champion here tonight? Looking to make it a little extreme here. And oh! Driving her back right across that apron. Storm. Storm, though. Fighting back as Ripley looked like she wanted the no sell. Storm said, no, you sit your ass down. And Tony Storm now. Oh, my God. Using those hips to her advantage. It's, they're devastating, to say the least. And wait a minute now. Tony Storm looking to do it again. And that's going to hurt more than it does for any other wrestler doing it. As Tony Storm has that, that 
a little bit of an advantage there when it comes to the hip attacks. And oh my god, once again stomping down there on the hand. Palm stomp there by Tony Storm. Oh my god, a brutal. I mean, I don't know who's more hard hitting when it comes to the women's division. Rhea Ripley or Tony Storm. I guess this is a good matchup. A test of strength for sure. And oh my god. Rhea, she went right into that steps. It would have been all she wrote. And Tony now. Tony is showing just how timeless she can be. And oh man, the nightmare saying no. Rhea Ripley saying no. Ripley now with a big Irish whip. Right into the barricade there. And Ripley now looking to bring her into the Stipe Sykes that's out there. As Rhea Ripley along with the women we just seen wrestle. Becky Lynch wrestle this past Monday. And wait a minute. Rhea Ripley now. What does Ripley have in my... Oh! Power driver on the outside. Does she have no morals? No bounds? No limits that she will not go to? And referee on the count of eight. Ripley brings her back into the ring. Slides in. Saving the matchup right in the nick of time. I don't know if that was smart. I mean, maybe Rhea knew this matchup was coming and this was the reason why she did what she did this past Monday to Becky Lynch hitting her with that chair. Maybe this was the exact... Oh my God, now working on the knee of Tony Storm. Maybe this was the exact reason preserving her energy for tonight. Oh my goodness. And wait a minute now, Rhea with a baseball slide there. Rhea with a baseball slide there to Tony Storm. Storm in trouble here. Nowhere for Storm to go. Nothing for her to do. But I eat my words there as Tony Storm hits it with a beautiful elbow there. And now Storm, beautiful work into the cover. No. Ripley kicked out at one, I think. Now lining up. And oh, big slap. Another one for a trouble. Another one and another one. And oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Absolutely relentless is Tony Storm here tonight. And a bridge. Not a cover with it though, Tony Storm thinking that there's more damage to be done here tonight when it comes down to the, the so-called leader of the women's division, the women's world champion, Rhea Ripley, gets absolutely smushed. Rikishi will be proud and no, it wasn't a kick out, but it was a rope break. And this time Storm positioning her right into the cover, but no, right when you think it's over, right? When you think Tony Storm did the unthinkable Tony Storm. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rhea now electric chair. Has her down, has her out into the cover. Two and no, oh, rope break. Rope break there, and that was not. You think you thought that was gonna come in, you know, into play. You thought it was gonna be a factor but it seems to be an on one but this might be the factor the only thing that matters riptide so close to the ropes and her fingertips manage to get underneath and oh man Rhea Rhea thinking of going for that chair maybe Rhea contemplating it but but saying no 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 saying I'm gonna finish her Rhea was thinking about going for that chair the same way she did to Becky Lynch saying screw it it's not even worth finishing and both women went for a clothesline, and it was Rhea Ripley to get the better of the exchange. Look at that. Oh, my God. Countless blows straight to the face. Closed palm, straight fist to the face. Oh, my goodness. And that straight elbow to the face. I mean, can this get any more hard hitting? And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Storm Zero. It's over. Tony to do it. Tony to the suplex to follow. I don't think Rhea's ever been hit with a maneuver like that. Rhea gets caught. Tony catches on the leg lock. The champion has nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Storm caught Ripley, but no, no, and no. Rhea Ripley finding a way to fight back. Kick to the face, into the cover. Two, and no. Oh my goodness, Rhea thinking to herself, what's next? What do I do? How do I do it? She doesn't know, I don't know, we don't know, but what we know is that a fight is being taken place and this, this ladies and gentlemen, can easily, oh my goodness, look at this, absolutely barbaric by Rhea Ripley showing off how angry she is showing off that the effects that she has been doing to Tony Storm the fact that they are showing but they're not showing as much as she wants that is the problem key problem look at solution Riptide this time 
Nail in the coffin. One, two. How does she do it? How does she do it? Tony Storm is a different kind of wrestler. Oh, what a kick. Kick to the face there. Anything Tony is doing, any sign of life, it's seeming like it's for nothing. As Rhea Ripley is lining up Storm. Storm not knowing where she's at or what's going on. And oh, man. Rhea going to that top rope. And oh man, she psychs us out a little bit. She psychs us out a little bit. She looks to meet the challenger to the outside there. And oh man, playing a little bit of possum there with Sony Storm. And wait a minute, no, might have been for nothing. Rhea catches her. Power driver by Rhea. Power driver by the women's world champion. And this is my B. Exactly why they call her as such. The dominance being shown on display is a beautiful work of art. And Rhea Ripley knows dominance like no other. And look at this now going into the ring, stalking her opponent into the cover. Is this going to be it? I mean, I don't think it will be, but it is. She's fought out of so much. It gave us that glimmer of hope that Tony would survive. But after a power driver, after three riptides and one was done on the outside, I mean, how could you fight? Out of all of this, I don't know. But what I do know, ladies and gentlemen, is these two women came out here tonight and they wrestled for the first time ever here in Universe Mode for a women's main event. We have never had a women's main event before tonight. And tonight, Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm will take the cake as the two women who not only killed it, but as the two women who came here and showed exactly what the women's division means, not only in AEW, not only in WWE, but the all around the world of professional wrestling as Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley show off. And oh man, Rhea, wait a minute, wait a minute, who's that? Who the hell is that? Oh wait, is that, is that Ruby Soho? It's Ruby Soho, and oh! Wait a minute, who the hell is that? What's going on here tonight? Is that Soraya? That's AEW Soraya and Ruby Soho. That's the outcast. And what a brand to make your debut on like the green one. And oh man, Soraya has her. Oh my God. Rhea Ripley picked a fight with the wrong one. As the outcasts are taking down Rhea Ripley. This is the first time ever since damage control. Oh my God. Since damage control that Rhea Ripley is on the opposite side. Oh man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rampage. <laughs> what did we just see? Rhea Ripley is in a continuance of trouble as we have a referee going in there to take care of her. Going in there to check on her. And Rhea getting up to her feet saying she's fine. What an episode to mayhem, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode, we will be in Providence, Rhode Island as Rock Hard Juice Robinson will be going one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles as it seems like a war of clubs is brewing within the Bullet Club and it is splitting off within Club OC and Club Bullet Club Gold. It's all, hey, all I gotta say is the Club Warfare is going down and it continues over on Raw, but that's not it, ladies and gentlemen. We will be hearing from the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes as Cody has something in store for us going in to this crossover and he says that he has an opponent in mind. Who is that opponent going into this crossover? Over. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but it's going to be a crossroads, to say the least, as Cody Rhodes will be on Raw right here in Providence, Rhode Island, and he will not be wrestling. No, no, no. He'll be with his best, and that's a live microphone, but a matchup that will be happening. It's one that we've been looking forward to for a little bit here. It's Judgment Day. Damian Priest vows to get rid of Alpha Academy, but Chad Gable and Otis have a helping hand in LA Knight, and it seems like the numbers advantage when it comes to the Raw roster has been picking up as of lately when it comes to Against the war between Judgment Day and Alpha Academy as these two teams will take each other on at Providence, Rhode Island. But Judgment Day will be doing a little bit of double duty here tonight. And Dominic and Damian will be wrestling there. And JD McDonough will have the World Heavyweight Champion. Some call him the Prince. I call him a pillar. But JD calls him 
his master JD calls him his sensei of sorts McDonough will be taking on Wheeler Judah and it's gonna be a damn good expedition to say the least and what the world is looking forward to for the second time ever on your main event it will be the tribal court and Solo Sokoa is the victim of it as Solo was the main one Solo is the reason why the bloodline lost in the main event of Survivor Series, what will Solo have in store for the WWE Universe? What will he have to say for himself as Roman is bringing judgment upon Solo Sokoa? And with the wise man in the corner, Roman Reigns, things can only heat up from there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more. It's one hell of an episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.